ladies welcome back to my channel i am lima aneke and uh, welcome to dbc creations so today i'm going to show you how the simplest i mean the simplest and the easiest step to draft your basic sleeve guys you got to keep watching this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and then share and tell your friend about this channel so guys i'm going to use this um this edge to draw the sleeve first of all you have to make sure that your sleeves that your sleeve that your sleeve have a straight line so the next thing you have to do is to fold your paper into two just folding it into two will be a little more easier why because you will have to create a straight line here so that's why and why I didn't make mine to be at the edge is because of these rough edges. Since I have cut the rough edges out, I'm going to use my hand and make sure that I create a straight line. So guys, did you see? So the next thing that we are going to do, okay, let me just use this, use this as an example. The sleeve length will be 10 inches while the sleeve width will be 12 inches inches and also know the standard measurement for cap is four so from this point i'm not going to add any seam allowance on today's tutorial so that when you are cutting just bear in mind bear in mind that you add your seam allowance so i'm joking guys just always bear in mind that you have to add your seam allowance to your sleeve so if you didn't add it to your Mm, to your pattern so this is the this will be my uh, my cap four inches four inches here so i will measure six inches guys i realized that measuring that six inches when you curve your when you curve your sleeve it will amount to more than 8 inches so I'm going to I'm going to create a straight line so I'm going to also create a straight line here also so this is my cap like I said before, that the length of this sleeve is going to be 10. So I'm going to measure 10 here. So I'm going to measure 10. And I'm going to measure my 10. So and I'm going to draw it all the way. So since I have gotten my full length my cap and then my half length if you follow this example you will achieve more than what i'm showing you guys today so from this mark from this mark from this center let me just call it from this center i'm going to mark a slant line to reach this six You guys before doing this make sure that your length is like you will do it like seven or eight inches so i'm doing mine seven inches so always make sure that what you are folding is up to seven sorry i didn't tell you earlier so make sure that it's up to seven or from seven down from seven down depending on your ample measurements so many techniques that you can use to achieve your basic sleeve but i find this one to be more accurate so so i find this one to be more accurate okay guys i have drawn my slant line all through here so i have a slant line here i have a slant line here and i have my full length so you have to label which one will be your front and which one will be your back to determine the curve that you are going to you know give it so this one will be my front okay and this one will be my back 
so you have to with your armhole curve so from here you guys see how i'm placing remember that i showed you guys how to place your french curve on your to achieve a perfect curve on your bustier please go and watch that video is very it's very very like it's going to add, add more value to your fashion line or to your sewing life guys i'm not joking i'm serious i'm placing the ruler so that it will match on this intercept so i'm not going to i'm going to make a dot a a a dot line not not kind of a dot line but a spaced line guys did you see i didn't mark it fully so on this our front guys see what i did on this one I used the most not all that curvy part on the back side because that back side doesn't require much of this uh, curve. So on the on the on the on the front side, I raised it up and I used the as in the highest curve of it guys can you see what i did so and i'm not going to you know i'm going to make a scanty line all through guys did you see what i did this curve is here is more curvy than this front than this back side so i'm going to place my ruler like this so that this line i will match up here and this uh, and this place so from here so i'm going to open it up so guys why i did mine seven is because if you curve this thing here it will amount to eight let's just curve it and let me show you guys if i'm if i'm saying the truth or not so I'm going to place my ruler where guys did you see where I want it to be so it's kind of not all that curvy so I'm going to do the same at this part but this part is going to have more curve than the back side so i'm placing my ruler in such a way that the, i will achieve that uh, i will achieve that perfect curve so and i'm going to redraw here since here is kind of a little bit deeper than so I'm going to redraw it so I will kind of have a deep line but not all that deep so guys you do see the difference between the front and the back so like I said that the width is uh, the width is 12 so I'm going to mark six inches here and i'm going to mark six inches here so and i'm going to connect it from here from this end point to this end point and i'm going to do the same on the other side from this end point to this end point remember there is no seam allowance on this pattern so i'm going to take my elastic tape so i'm going to place it like this placing it like this is just remember that this side is like the less curvy part so i'm going to make sure using my elastic tape to make sure that the armhole is uh, up to eight inches so yeah guys this armhole is eight and a half inches let me i don't know how to show you guys but it's 
okay let me show you guys it's eight and a half inches so from here i place the i place my elastic tape at the center of this pattern and i'm going to curve it on that line that i have so i'm curving it on that line that i have my my dot so guys can you see it's eight and a half I, mean, I don't know if you guys can see this thing let me try and show you guys this is eight and a half so this is the curve is eight and a half inches so guys why i did that is that eight and a half is exactly is exactly the armhole size plus half inch is remember that you're supposed to have half inch is for your as in for anything that you are measuring so since i have achieved my um, my armhole i'm going to so guys i'm covering up all these dotted lines that i did that i did before because i have achieved that perfect armhole that i want so the next is for you to cut out is as simple as a b c d so another thing is another another technique is for you to measure your own hole then you do it like after doing it like this here you will add like you will add extra let me just say 0 0.25 inches and here you will add seven so guys when you add this 0 0.25 to this already marked out area and you add um, 0 0.75 here you will find out that just you will just mark it out after marking it out after covering it out then you will differentiate which one you want remember that the greater the curve is your front then the lesser the curve is the back so that is another technique so guys we have come to the end of this tutorial and uh, see you guys soon so you see it's exactly the same so bye guys and don't forget to subscribe to this channel give me a thumbs up and uh, drop your comments down below i hope this tutorial is as simple as ever i don't know so see you bye